Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. In this lab, we'll be configuring RIP authentication. We'll actually be configuring two types of authentication, clear text password and MD5 authentication. So from the requirements list, the link between R1 and R2 has to be authenticated using MD5, and the link between R2 and R3 has to be authenticated using clear text password. And of course, we still have to have end-to-end -end IP connectivity. So let's start by having a look at router 1. Let's check that RIP is really configured. Show IP protocols. OK. Show IP route RIP. OK, we see that we have a route to router 3. Let's try to ping router 3's loopback interface. Ping 3.3.3. .3 .3. Three. Okay, so we do have IP connectivity. Now let's configure authentication on the link between router 1 and router 2. So that was MD5 authentication. So step 1, we have to create that keychain. Key chain, we call it Cisco. We'll use key number 1, and the actual key, the key string is Cisco in capital. Okay, all right. Now to actually activate authentication, we would have to configure it under the interface. So interface fast2net0 zero slash zero IP rip authentication mode MD5. We also have to tell the router which key to use for that interface. So that would be IP RIP authentication keychain and the name of the keychain that was Cisco. So it's pretty simple. That was a three steps configuration. One, you configure the keychain. Two, under the interface, you tell the router what mode to be used MD5 or clear text. If it's clear text, you just tell it which keychain to use. And three, you tell the router which keychain to use. All right, let's jump to router two. Checking that RIP is configured, show IP protocols, could have done a show IP route. Okay, let's configure authentication. Creating the keychain first, keychain Cisco, key number one, and the actual key string, Cisco in capital. And the interface connecting to router 1 is, is also fast to net 0, 0. Interface, have to get out. Interface, interface, fast to net 0 slash 0. Now enable MD5, IP RIP, authentication mode MD5 and tell the router which key to be used IP RIP authentication key Cisco. Now the second requirement states that we have to configure clear text password authentication between router 2 and router 3. Since we're already on router 2, let's just do that right away. So that's interface fast internet one slash zero. We're using clear text authentication this time, so we don't have to specify which mode to be used since clear text is the default mode. So we just type IP RIP authentication keychain Cisco. Right, we have one last router to configure and that's router three. Let's do that. Conf T create the keychain keychain Cisco key number one, and the actual key string, Cisco in capital. Okay, we have one final step. Interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero, that's IP RIP authentication keychain Cisco. Okay, so if we've done anything wrong here, 
we shouldn't have IP connectivity. So let's check that we're still receiving routes from router 1 and router 2. Show IP route rip. Just to be safe, let's ping router 1. 1.1.1.1. It's working. Looking at the show IP protocol. We see that authentication is being used with the keychain Cisco. And that was it. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.